Remote patient monitoring keeps track of a patient's stats right from the comfort of their couch. I spoke with a doctor who says it's preventative care, especially for people with barriers to getting to a doctor's office. In the remote patient monitoring program, each patient gets a blood pressure cuff, a scale, and a glucose monitor to use at home. At Utica Park Clinic, they're calling their program Cadence. A lot of time, by the time you get into the doctor's office, um, you've either hit traffic or you're stressed or you just don't like going to the doctor. So when you're coming in, your, your blood pressure might be really high. And it's difficult as a physician to know whether or not that's a true elevated blood pressure reading. Mary Rott is one of the 500 patients in the Cadence program. She started this year after her doctor wanted to monitor her blood pressure. And it was like 190 over 150 and I had no idea. And so when I say it saved my life, I feel like it really did because if it wouldn't have started that program, I don't know where I would have been. Nurses and doctors have tweaked her care plan. It's an everyday thing, and if there's a concern, they call me. I've gone through changes with my medications and everything through that time. Dr. Matthew L. says the program not only gives peace of mind to adult children taking care of their parents, but also to people who live far away in rural areas. I do have patients that have to drive over two hours to see me, um, and I just, I feel so guilty making them come in for that. And who knows if by the time they get here, if their blood pressures are going to be um, in a good range. So the rural population, this is an awesome opportunity. According to the National Rural Health Association, rural residents have greater transportation difficulties reaching health care providers. The USDA is awarding emergency rural health care grants. For Oklahomans, 12 towns will divide $3.6 million toward hospitals and EMS stations. In green country, that includes McAllister Regional Health Care Authority and Sequoia County. Covering news that matters, Jenna James, Fox 23 News.